it is almost time. Opening day is just a couple days away. It's crazy. Baseball season is finally here. Today, I'm gonna be doing my MLB predictions for 2019. So stay tuned. It's about to get pretty juicy. I'm about to tell you guys exactly what happens this year. You don't even have to watch any games because you're about to already know what's gonna happen this season after I tell you guys. So, ready? Let's start with my predictions for the AL East. Number one, Yankees. Two, Red Sox. I think the Red Sox, I think the Yankees just got so many upgrades this year. Ottavino, um, Zach Britton, um, James Paxton. They got DJ LeMahieu too, and Tuliski. They just did so much this offseason. And their bullpen is unbelievable. Their starting pitching is unbelievable. Their, um, what did I not say? Their, their lineup's unbelievable too. I think the Yankees will pass the Red Sox this year. But I do think that the Yankees and Red Sox are the two best teams in baseball by far. So yeah, Yankees, Red Sox, Blue Jays, Rays, Orioles. I think nobody can argue about the fifth spot there. AL Central, Indians, Twins, White Sox, Royals, then Tigers at last. Nothing crazy there. AL West. Number one in the AL West. I got the Angels. I'm sorry, the channel's Angels Vlogs. And it's definitely possible if the Angels have a great season. And I don't think the Astros have done too much to improve themselves. And yeah, that's obviously bold. That's pretty much hoping the Angels have a, a really good season and the Astros have a really bad season. And then in third is the A's, fourth Mariners, fifth Rangers. If you guys disagree with Angels getting first in the division, make sure to comment. Anyway, we're moving on to the NL. NL East, I have Braves, Mets, Nationals, Phillies, Marlins. I think the top four teams in the NL East is all gonna be really close and the Marlins are just gonna be like way down there. And yeah, I think the Braves will repeat um, NL East champs this year. And the Mets will have a crazy comeback season and Edwin Diaz will help with a ton of saves and a ton of wins for them. They also got like Robbie Cano. NL Central, Cardinals, Brewers, Reds, Cubs, and then Pirates. The Cardinals got one man, Paul Goldsmith, who I believe is just always underrated because people tend to count him out when they're talking about, you know, the best players in the MLB. He himself is like close to an MVP candidate the last few years and he's gonna give them so many more wins this year and yeah he's a huge game changer for the Cardinals and yeah Brewers second Reds then because I think the Reds the Reds just stole so many players from the Dodgers in that deal which I believe everyone thinks is really confusing still that um, Dodgers Reds deal where the Reds got I believe Alex Wood I'm not sure about that Matt Kemp and Yasiel Puig um, I remember the Reds did get some great pitching, so yeah, that's going to be game changing for the Reds. We got the NL West, first place, Dodgers, hate to say that, but every year it's, don't think anything's going to be different because the D-backs seems like lost a lot of people and they're not going to be contending. The Rockies just don't seem like they're quite there yet to me. So Dodgers, then Rockies, then Padres. I think they're gonna improve drastically because they have such an insane farm system. So many young players that are gonna come up and start be doing big for the Padres, not to mention Machado. He's an all-star, he's their new leader for their team. And then D-backs, and then Giants. So that leaves some wild card games. I got the AL wild card, Red Sox, Astros, with the Red Sox getting the first spot in the wild card. NL wild card. Brewers, Mets, and now we got the playoffs. Division series. Okay, starting with the AL division series. Yankees and Red Sox will play because the Red Sox will beat the Astros in the wild card. And then the two division winners, Angels, Indians will play. And the NL, Braves, Brewers. I think the Braves will have the best record in the NL. And then they'll play the NL wild card winning Brewers. 
and then Dodgers Cardinals at the other series. So the AL Championship Series will be Angels, Yankees, NL Championship Series, Braves, Cardinals, and the World Series. My prediction is the Yankees, Braves. I think the Yankees are just gonna be overpowering. With my prediction of the Yankees beating the Red Sox out in the division, means that they're most likely gonna pass the Red Sox at some point in the playoffs and make it to the World Series. And the Braves, I think they'll repeat what they did last year and go even farther. So anyway, my prediction for the 2019 World Series champions are the Yankees. And I hate to say that, but they just seem so, they're just too good of a team. I hate to admit that. So yeah. And now um, I did a few predictions for like, you know, MVP and Cy Young. AL MVP, Mike Trout. That's, I don't have to explain that. NL MVP, Nolan Arenado. He's been really close so many years and he is to me the best player in the NL. He's so consistently close to getting MVP, but just not quite there. AL Cy Young. Chris Sale, he's also someone, if you look at his stats, he's like the last eight or something years, he's been in like the top five for Cy Young. And it's kind of like he's due for a Cy Young award. Kind of like Nolan Arenado's due for an MVP award. Um, I know Cy Young, I think Jacob deGrom will win it again. And that's like the easy choice for me, the clearest choice, because he was just such a runaway Cy Young last year with such an insane season. I think he can be close to that again. If he's just close to that, he'll win again. And if the Mets are better, that would definitely help. And that's pretty much it. I didn't really do Rookie of the Year or um, Manager of the Year because I, I honestly don't really care too much. I think Vladimir Guerrero Jr. will win um, AL Rookie of the Year. Well, there is Kikuchi on the Mariners, but... You know, I'm, I'm not predicting, okay, I'm not predicting Rookie of the Year or Manager of the, of the Year. I don't really care too much about that. Anyway, those are my predictions. I'm going to come back to this video at the end of the year, and hopefully I'm really close. Anyway, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, comment what you agree with or disagree with or anything, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.